uh, I want to do engineering, computer science. Uh, in, I think I'll get it in BMS or something. So computer science engineer. I want to be a software engineer. Physics problems. Uh, sir, sir would have solved almost all the problems. Uh, first, go through that. Uh, uh, and the NCRT don't concentrate much. They don't give NCRT problems in the board. Uh, uh, at least do examples if you find. First, solve the, this material problems. And then if you find time, do example problems. And then go to the important problems. Like uh, you find that booklet, right? Uh, what's that? Handbook. Uh, you ju I just went through those problems, but eventually they didn't come in the exam, but they were given a different problems. But uh, by the time you solve so many problems, you would have developed the thinking of how to solve so many problems. So that's enough. No, like uh, not much was taken out of blow, blow up. Trust me, I didn't. Know, I don't know the blow up syllabus till now. Uh, I, what was done here, I just read you. That you do that. So that's enough. Not much burden. I don't think so. Not much was exempted for blow up. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah, if on Sundays I'll tell you uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday you do for CET. Uh, uh, exemplar problems, especially mathematics, is very important, and chemistry uh, is very important. Uh, I don't know about math, physics because I didn't do. Uh, mathematics, there were like, like four or five questions from exemplar. Uh, like if you can answer four or five questions in one minute, that's a really big advantage. Do exemplar. That is important. For CET or for mains? For CET, not for mains. For mains only Yeah, yeah, and CET. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. I referred Bosco's. Yeah, when I didn't understand any concept in uh, NCRT, I would refer my, I had my sister's book, Bosco's textbook. I had no need to buy it. If you, you can go to a library, college library, they'll have all reference books. If you don't understand the concept, first read the notes here, then go to NCRT. Still you don't understand, at least ask the teachers. Still you don't understand, then read some reference book. I don't think so. It may matters for subjects, but languages it does matter. Try to improve your handwriting. It really matters for languages. For subjects also, physics, mathematics, they don't care about your handwriting and all. But uh, if that if you have written neatly and you know, lined your pages and all, that gives a very good impression on the evaluator. So he'll feel like uh, the, this guy is a studious student. Uh, he would have written really well. So he tries to read it more efficiently. So you, in turn, he concentrates on your paper, so he'll get a better marks. No, no, no. Answer it from the way. Uh, it's better. You can answer any way, but it's better if you start from the first. Like because the first ma one mark questions are diff they would have given 15 minutes time to read the paper, right? You uh, you think in your mind the answers to all the f uh, ten first ten questions, one mark questions. Uh, if you answer those one mark questions correctly, it gives the impression to the evaluator that uh, you are very you have prepared the syllabus very well. So he concentrates more and uh, he'll he, he like the way you would have written the paper. He his impression on you would be good. So for uh, it's it's preferable that you answer from the beginning, but it, it doesn't matter whether you do or any way. So it's if you go in a systematic way, it's better. Even if you don't know the answer to one more questions, you can just leave a line and uh, go go to the next parts and then come back. You have to manage time. Like uh, for 70 marks, you'll have a lot of time, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, for languages, that is a problem. But uh, if you manage what I told you, that's enough. You, you'll, you'll have a lot of time. No need to worry about time. Yeah, that is one important thing. Uh, after you would have completed all the pay ans answering all the questions. So if you have time, answer uh, one extra question at least in each main because if there's you would have answered any question wrong, uh, they'll consider the uh, optional also. There. So they'll get full marks. It's it's it make it a must to write save enough time to answer each at least one extra question in each uh, main. 
uh, each main you have to write it together don't write one question from this main then the next question from the next main don't do that one question each main has to be together very much uh, it's not about the question paper or the questions they gave or the competition whether you first or last it's about how you prepare for that exam if your preparation is good uh, it doesn't matter how much marks you get uh, if you should study sincerely and attend sincerely then if your effort is sincere it will really help in you because you would have finished everything by december that's a very good advantage The, that depends, yeah. like if you are thorough with the uh, board uh, syllabus, you can solve at least like 30, 35 questions, you can easily solve. You have to do it in rounds, like first 30 minutes you should complete, like you should see the whole 60 questions in CET paper. Uh, answer as many as you can. If you can't answer uh, some questions, just leave it. If you don't know it, you'll just get to know, I don't know these kind of problems. You just leave it in the first round. Complete uh, seeing the, all the 60 questions in 30, 35 minutes and then come back to the difficult ones. They're like first round question, some questions are like theoretical questions about diffraction statement questions. You can answer that in first round. In the second round, you have to answer like uh, difficult questions. Once you can solve, but which take time. And in third round, you may, might not know a lot of questions, and you just uh, put all the options for that one question. It's the, yeah, that's what I told you. The dream has to be you have to focus on the things which you get. If you achieve this thing, you, you cannot get distracted. I told you, you have to overcome it. Because uh, the things you get after uh, you get a rank, uh, the respect with which you are treated is really worth giving up all, of the, all the distractions. Just one year, you can do it. I'll tell you. This one? Not in college. Concentrate. Don't concentrate in college. Uh, concentrate on the tuition. Nobody does properly in college. You just go there for attendance uh, and <laughs> sit and come. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, concentrate in tuitions morning. Attend your tuitions regularly. Yeah. Yeah. College. Uh, they'll teach, but nobody listens. You cannot listen when nobody is listening. That's all. You, it depends on it. You have to maintain a good impression in college also with all your teachers because they have 30 marks of your practicals. Don't meddle with your attendance or your teach impression on the teachers. You have to be very careful with all that because they, they control your practical marks. So be careful. Don't make shortage. You attend till at least properly. If you attend till December, you can easily bunk after January. Yeah, it'll be very easy. The Viva questions they'll ask are mostly from the theory what you would have studied for your boards. So that's enough. They'll ask really easy questions. Huh? What? Exam fear. You'll write so many exams, right? You would have overcome it by the time. But uh, it will be easy, trust me. It, it's going to be easy. Board exams are going to be easy. You can do it easily. By the time you would have written so many preparatories, you would have gained the confidence. I wrote JE mains, uh, CET, Comet K, that's all. Uh, if you get through JE mains, you get to write JE advanced. Uh, uh, then uh, you can write if you are aiming for PESIT, uh, PS College, you have to write PESAT. Uh, or there's Vellore Institute of Technology, that's good. Uh, there, are, there are different uh, competitive exams for each institute, I'll say. Like uh, BITSAT, uh, Vellore Institute, VIT, MIT, Manipal Institute. You can write all that, all that but uh, CET concentrate more because you're not sure that you're going to go. All that is in like Tamil Nadu, uh, Mangalore and all. If you, if you, yeah, all that. If you're ready to go, but concentrate on CET or Comet and Comet K. No, if you, if you are prepared for JE, it's, you can answer all the CA, all the competitive exams. But CET, if you are enough, uh, if you are prepared for CET, you can answer all the specific uh, Vellore Institute, Manipal and all you can answer. But JE is you have to prepare differently. 
I didn't take any coaching, but I got through mains because it's ref you refer a book, uh, it's enough. Like no need to burden yourself with another coaching now. Right now, you already you don't have time, so it's enough if you read at home. That's all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, here is with me uh, Palguni R, who has secured a. A fourth rank in the Karnataka State PU examination conducted on the, in the month of March 2015. Palguni is a student of our uh, Asanbat Academy and she is a very honest student and she was very punctual and very sincerely she was attending all the classes. She has scored uh, 97 in physics. 100 in chemistry, 99 in uh, mathematics, 100 in electronics. And uh, including the languages, her marks is 590 out of 600. She is the fourth rank holder in the Karnataka state. And she was very regular to the classes, as I have seen, as a teacher I have seen. Uh, she was very much regular and her batch timings was in the morning, 6 to 8. She has attended all the classes. And uh, regularly we were conducting the test on Sundays and she attended the test also. In all the tests uh, which we conducted, every month she used to be the topper. And uh, I again uh, congratulate uh, uh, Palguni for scoring this uh, highest marks and for getting the uh, for becoming the state uh, topper and uh, we shall now uh, interview Falguni about the method of study method of studying and uh, before that uh, let us ask uh, uh, Palguni about the uh, teachers uh, Palguni you have uh, attended our academy classes and uh, may I know that uh, how these teachers are uh, responsible or what is the contribution from the teacher side for you to get these better marks. And uh, you can one by one, uh, you can say about the teachers. Like, uh, from physics, uh, SNB sir and DN sir, uh, they, full name, SN but sir and uh, uh, Dean Agarath sir, uh, uh, they are uh, firstly they are very thorough in their own subjects. So uh, the no notes they give or the topics they teach in the exam uh, uh, in the classes are uh, uh, very. They make the basics very clear. So that basics are very important. Uh, they make it clear, and that is what matters. Uh, so they're really good. And then uh, the notes given here is uh, very important, very useful actually for all the exams. And then uh, when it comes to chemistry, there's uh, uh, Lakshmi Narayan sir, uh, and then uh, yeah, and then yeah, uh, SLR sir is like uh, the god of chemistry, I must say. Uh, the the physical chemistry parts he taught like uh, that that's what came in all the exams. Uh, uh, he he is a really wonderful uh, teacher. He knows his subject really well. He tells uh, it clearly, so you you don't get one doubt in his class. Uh, so and then uh, even uh, Naveen sir and uh, uh, SAS sir, Naveen, Naveen, yeah. NM yeah NM sir uh, and then uh, SAS sir also the the way they teach in the uh, class is that uh, is such that you don't get any doubts. So. Yeah, NM uh, organic chemistry, he trains uh, in the class. He tells you the way you have to practice, uh, the how much you have to write, how much hours you have to study, and what books you should refer. He gives all this uh, important uh, the feedbacks or like advices about the topic and also about the exams. Uh, and it uh, uh, when uh, when you don't know anything about the, the second PU exam, such teachers are really a treasure, I'll say. And then uh, even SAS sir, he's, he's really good. He make he even uh, has fun. These teachers have fun and then teach in the class. It uh, it's really good. It's really good the way they teach. And the mathematics department, 
Anantrangan sir is like his experience is uh, more, I cannot explain his teaching in words. His teaching is explained by his experience. Uh, the, he, he, he has fun in the class. He makes his uh, study at the same time. You don't know when you are learning the topic. Uh, he makes it so easy. Even those 3D dimen- 3D topics, they're, they're really difficult if you start studying from the textbook. He makes it so easy that uh, you, you don't know. You don't know when you have already learnt all the topics in the class. And even AK sir, AK sir, uh, matters is... Uh, Anil Kumar sir, uh, his uh, int- integration, uh, tr- uh, matrices and determinants, he would, he would have solved all the problems he can solve. He trains you like totally the whole textbook he would have solved. Uh, so nothing much to say, he, he has, uh, he teaches really well. He The teachers here know their topics, that's what I'll say. And then even um, uh, Som Shekhar sir. Yeah, his, uh, he, he also made the basics very clear to us, even with its relations, functions. Uh, the way he taught the basics, like we, uh, when you were in first P, you, you wouldn't have known the basics also. So when, he, when we came to second P, he taught us the basics well and he taught really well. So that's what, and then even, uh, um, K. I R. Think, yeah, yeah, KR sir. KR sir is like, uh, uh, he, he solves all, even he is like AK, he solves all the textbook problems.